The Petzl Sirocco is the lightest climbing helmet and offers extended head coverage and exceptional comfort while multi-pitch climbing, ice climbing, and mountaineering. The hybrid construction of the Sirocco allows it to weigh only 170 grams. The main body of the helmet is made of expanded polypropylene foam and provides amazing impact absorption and withstands multiple impacts without damage. The top of the head is guarded with an expanded polystyrene foam crown and a polycarbonate protective cap to provide reinforced protection against falling objects. The hybrid use of two different foams and an isolated protective covering keeps the volume and weight of the helmet low while the overall head coverage is increased. As rockfall from above is not the only risk of head injury while climbing, the Sirocco is built to provide more coverage along the back of the head to better protect against lateral and rear impacts during a fall. The Sirocco is built with premium features that deliver maximum comfort and performance. The removable and washable padding inside the helmet helps with sweat and cushions against pressure points. Numerous ventilation holes are located around the entire helmet to deliver optimal airflow during warm, day-long ascents. The low-profile webbing suspension system is simple to adjust, easy to store, and is equipped with a magnetic buckle that snaps shut quickly and easily. Attaching a headlamp to the helmet is made easy with two clips in the front and an elastic strap in the back. Tested on the most difficult peaks, highest big walls, and in the deepest caves, this helmet delivers an ideal combination of ultra lightweight protection and comfort. The Petzl Sirocco is perfect for any suffer fest in the mountains, no matter if it's on rock, snow, or ice. At 170 grams, this featherweight can take all the hits. This is the Salati, our most ventilated mountaineering helmet, which Thanks to its hybrid construction, weighs only 200 grams and is one of the lightest helmets on the market. I'm Phil, product manager at Edelreid. Just by looking at it, you can see that the helmet is extremely well ventilated. It is so lightweight because of its hybrid construction, combining a foam-injected EPP core and an ABS hard shell. The EPP foam has the advantage of being extremely lightweight and particularly flexible. This makes the helmet very robust for transport and of course for climbing. It can withstand several impacts without breaking. The ABS hard shell distributes the force of an impact to a larger area, which allows a very slim design of the helmet and thus it rests very close to your head. Besides, the helmet is equipped with two headlamp clips on the front and a more flexible attachment at the back which allows you to attach even headlamps with battery packs or skiing goggles. The inside of the helmet has a minimalistic design to save more weight. It consists of two removable paddings, which are washable, and a closure system consisting of a chin strap and a buckle for the back of the head. The back strap can be even adjusted in height to fit all head sizes. The Salati, 200 grams of excellent ventilation. A helmet for all occasions. When we set out to design the Vector helmet, we went into it with the realization that we needed to get the weight as low as possible for an all-around helmet, one that could take a bit of a beating and still look pretty good. We also needed to get the ventilation as high as possible, which is really only possible through a foam helmet. We went with a polycarbonate skin over the top of that in order to resist dents and dings. What we also did was use a tuck-away suspension system, and that allows you to push the suspension system inside the helmet in order to store it in your pack. And we use a very simple ratcheting adjustment mechanism to keep the weight down and to adjust the helmet on your head. We recognize the fact that losing your headlamp at an inopportune time is going to suck. So we made sure we made probably the most secure clip system on the market. We felt like if we could embody all of the attributes, weight, fit, ventilation, looks into some compelling designs, we would be making a line of helmets that you'd be willing to take with you instead of looking for excuses not to.
In the car on the way to the chief, Tainted Love came on the radio. And also just because it seemed kind of fitting because there's this idea I get sometimes with projecting routes like this where it's like climbing to your absolute love and you completely love it. But there's there's these things that kind of taint it a bit, like the desire to really finish a project or how how you want the conditions to be different. Hopefully the the breeze will pick up or how you want it to be a little easier. I like this so, so. Well, there's like this physical struggle. So it's kind of this like half and half, it's like a love-hate relationship that you have with climbing sometimes. So, so. Neil, tell us how good kit is. Is it pretty safe? Neil is this absolute dark horse wattage climber from Wales and he had just recently moved to Squamish. Knowing that I loved corners so much, he sent me a video of him top roping this sweet looking corner. I think really there's, maybe I just have to struggle a bit in this section. The route is right at the top of the sheaf really short in comparison to the rest of the wall. It's probably only 25 meters, but you have a ton of air beneath your feet because you're just one pitch from the top. How are you two feeling on your little ledge down there? Little nice perch. Ledge. Beautiful little hangout, hey? I'd rather hey? stay here than go back up. When I first tried the pitch, it's kind of one of those boulder problems, you know, where you don't know how to get off the ground and your foot just constantly slips. But it feels like that the whole way up. You just like have this complete trauma with even trying to get your body to stay on the route. It's really hard. The really frustrating part is that because there's no handholds or no footholds, you're just kind of smearing and palming against the rock. As soon as you put your foot in a slightly different position, you then feel like your whole body has to do some other completely different beta. So for me, the, the, the biggest struggle was actually remembering what to do and sticking to it. Yeah. Come on. We are back at the top of the tree. It's really smoky, it's really hot. What are the chances? Hi. I think like 30% chance. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha!